Hey, Aquarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so I'm pulling from the Clarifying Life Situations deck. So let's see what comes out for you guys. Don't forget, flip your rolls. Take what you need. Leave what you don't need. And please use the spirit of discernment. All right, I need my um, cellulite wand real quick. Put that on. Well, let me see. So the card that came out was Unlock Your Heart. So you can see that. And basically it's saying embrace vulnerability, Aquarius. And allow allow love to guide your journey to self-discovery. Okay, so let's see. For some of you, you need to allow yourself to be caught up in the whirlwind of a romantic moment. Some of you are holding back, like not really allowing yourself to be vulnerable in a relationship or a connection with someone. Tell me about this. Unlock your heart. It's almost like let love in. The two of cups comes out. Yep. So with somebody that you're um, connected to, like this could be a mutual attraction you have with this person. This could be your a friend, a partner, a lover, somebody you're married to. Whatever, the, whatever, whoever this is, okay? Allow yourself to be vulnerable with this person. Clarify. The star card comes in reverse. You lost hope. You lost faith in what? In relationships and love. It's almost like this feeling like, what's the purpose? I feel like you're on a journey again for of self-discovery, okay, healing. You were connected to someone before. Yep, the devil card comes out. Could have been a karmic connection for you. Or it was a very triggering connection or a very um, codependent relationship. I got the queen of swords that comes out. I don't know which way the queen fell, okay. And how I'm feeling it, it's like... Instead of being overly emotional or very cold-hearted, you might want to go in the Queen of Swords energy where you can set a clear boundary for yourself, be very direct in your communication, okay, with this person. It's not like don't be cold, but just, you know, you're going to have to be direct. That's how I'm hearing it. You're going to have to set a boundary for yourself. You know, really take inventory of the situation before you literally make any decisions about this, okay? Um, clarify it. Unlock your heart. Like, tell me about this two of cups. Three of swords. Yep, because you experienced some heartbreak or some grief or something like that, it's hard. It's hard for you to connect with anybody. It's hard for you to probably connect with this person that's in your life if this isn't a new person coming in. Okay. And you're still kind of grieving. You're grieving. And what you're going through is only supposed to help make you stronger. Okay. So try to really try to focus on your healing, not the not the past. Focus on what's ahead of you or focus on what's in front of you. It's like that dust dust yourself off and keep going type energy. You know, dust it off your shoulders. You know, what is it? Brush it off your shoulders. That's what I'm hearing, Jay-Z. Okay. I know it don't be that goddamn easy sometimes, but hey. You know, we be wanting new, but we can't let go of the old in order for the new to come in, right? The new beginnings come out. You are starting a new life. This is what it's about. It's about you starting a new life after a heartbreak. Or you're finding your purpose, okay? Take and look at your past, right? With a forgiving and compassionate view. That's it. Five of Raphael, seven of Ariel's come out. And it's, everything happens for a reason. Four, four, four on the timer. So if you're holding on to regret, you know, embrace your opportunities for happiness. And it feels like that's what is trying to come in for you. Happiness. But you got to allow yourself to be vulnerable to receive it. 
Yep, Seven of Ariel comes out, and that's like the Seven of Pentacles to me. So have patience because you have planted your seed, and you got to wait for it to harvest, of course, because what? You got to nurture it. You got to care for it. You got to water it. You got to do all that stuff. Like, we are literally the seeds, too, as well. So we have to do all of those things for ourselves, um, even for whatever it is that we're investing our time and energy into. So just really just kind of review everything with progress and just make plans for the next endeavor because what you're investing into now, this is this is it. You're investing wisely, okay? So it's okay for you to be able to go into this, this next endeavor or this next phase of your life, right? And be at peace with that. Release the path. Be, uh, release the past. Whatever path you were on before, you're being redirected. Because why? There's a more enriching future that's coming towards you. So uh, just let go. It's time for you to let go and let God listen to your intuition here. And um, don't lose faith. King of Ariel, your plans are working out very well, all right? Whatever it is that you're investing into, you know, if, even if it's about your money, you are investing your money wisely. If this is about a partnership, whatever it is, it's like this is mutual. Anything else? The star is still coming out, Aquarius. Believe in yourself. Whatever the difficult situation was or is, it's coming to an end. Or it is the end of that difficult situation. Okay, Aquarius, you are the star, boo. This is your show. All right, so what's next? <laughs> okay. All right, thank you so much for tuning in, boo. Peace.